Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow Industrials right now uh, d up two. Nasdaq is up 19. S&P's a flat. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the first hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great news there, the opening call. Now, the way you get the opening call, you come over to our website at TFNN. You go into the newsletters, and you're going to see the opening call right on the right-hand side. You hit the opening call, you hit subscribe, you can get the opening call for one month for $128. You can get it for six months for $595, that's a savings of $173. You can get it for a year for $995, which is a savings of $541. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Check it out, folks, right in the front page of TFNN. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good, thank you. Interesting market as always. Oh yeah, no doubt, man. No <laughs> doubt. I they uh, I mean we'll, we'll see where this baby goes, but it's having a tough time holding price right now. Correct. Yes. So I'm showing the charts. I've got the Dow on the left. In the middle is the weekly. This is the daily. The weekly is in the middle. Monthly is on the right. And you can see. I'll go to the middle first to say that the MAGD, the moving average convergence divergence, is strong and the stochastic is 90%. I like that over 80% is good in the 90s, is very good, and the price is holding well. So, so far, I think we, we should have good support in the Dow 25,800 level. If there is a pullback, maybe 25,750s, but so far, I think the weekly chart is very good. Now, on the shorter term, we're looking at the daily. So, for subscribers, I, uh, this is something that I sent this morning. I think I, I got it right here. So I, I will show the Dow daily and the 120-minute chart. I do a very detailed report on what I'm expecting. And the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always expecting if the technicals are good and it wants to get to peak B, if it can hold very well and start leg C, there's always a very good chance that it'll go four higher peaks to the a leg D. And that D is just alphabetically uh, assessing each is actually gauging the strength of each peak. So that what I was anticipating, that yesterday's high would be taken out and then we would go to a leg D, and then there was a really good chance, based on my work, that there'd be some kind of a pullback. Wasn't sure how it would be, and what I'd said is, uh, for instance, in the E-mini chart, I show uh, my subscribers every morning, and what I actually sent into the den is to say that at 1, one to 130, if the S&P is only up eight, or or less, that would be a problem. What it, it took 20 more minutes. It was like between 1.30 and 2. That's exactly what happened. Now the E-mini is, uh, the S&P is actually down. Dow's down 17. So we've got, now go to the real the real thing over here. Here's the 120-minute chart. There it is. It made that leg D. That's what we're anticipating. And now it's pulled back quite sharply. You can show it's got the 25,850 level right there. It's, uh, 14 period exponential moving average support and right here would be 25 uh, 617 is that five oops uh, sorry 25 I'm sorry to see 817 as the uh, the next support if it goes under that then we, we could have at least a, a, a pullback into Thursday so and here is the uh, same chart but I've got it with uh, the MACD and stochastic and it shows it was running very well pulling back so to, to assess what we were looking at when I spoke to you last week, I think it was on Thursday, I said the QQQ, the, the NDX 100 trading vehicle, was leading, the S&P was following, the Dow was next, and the IWM was the weakest. I don't like when I see uh, four of the key indices not really working in unison. So that says to me at some point you're going to have the leaders either pull back and the uh, weaker ones try to stabilize, or the weaker ones are going to try to chase the, the, the um, leaders. But if you're looking at the Dow, that high of 26,241, look how good the technicals were there. When it came down to the low of 25,252, I think that was on the, 8th, on the 11th of uh, November, you can see there was a turn in the, in the stochastic and the MACD, yet the MACD hasn't crossed positive. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, I think we're kind of stuck for a little while that the, the upside, you could go to 26,241, but I think it's going to be tough, just at least this week. And I think that we're going to be doing testing of, of the downside, and you've got the 14-period moving average at 25,780, so some or 
760. Somewhere in that area, we'll be doing some testing. We'll see what happens. And that, and what we what I was looking at for subscribers is uh, the stocks that we have have all done really very nicely. Um, we had one that we had bought at two dollars and seventy nine cents just on Thursday, and today it hit three dollars and twelve cents. So the very nice gain is giving some of that back. But I think what we're looking at is that finally you're seeing some of the financials acting a little bit better. They're not great, but they're acting a bit better. That to me is very important. And until we can get the brokerage sector, which is the IAI, iShares broker dealer sector, to really start to push, it's at 61 right now, it hit 61, what is that, 61.80, I think, yep, 61.85 today. Yeah, yeah, until you can get the 63.50 area in this particular, very for me, a very important uh, ETF, the iShares, broker dealer, and securities, to get the, to show that the public is coming in, I think that uh, that to me is going to be very important. It hasn't done it yet, so it's got about another, at least another two or three points to go to the upside. It might take a while to get there, but that's kind of what I'm looking at. And uh, I'd spoken to you the other day that I thought the grains might start to be making some kind of support level. Wheat is holding okay after the recent low. Corn is uh, also trying to rally it's a little bit. Actually, sorry, the soy soybeans is rallying a little a little bit as well. And corn had one of the better rallies. Uh, they, they're trying to come off the bottom. So we're going to be watching it. So this is a very important stage because the dollar is holding okay. But it really isn't showing any strength. It's, it's, it's just every, every day, in fact, it's just pulling back, still within the nice trading range at 96.38 from the 97.71 high and above 95.02. But I think this, the next three days, maybe the next week, is going to be really important for the dollar, I think for the pound, probably be for gold. So I, I got a feeling we got, we're looking at some resistance to the upside here. I am impressed that the semiconductors did manage to rally uh, that's another benchmark for me. This is going to be a big test at 107, 107 right now. If the semis in the next three to five sessions start to break under 104, I think maybe then we've seen some kind of a short-term top. If they move up to the 108s, that is really impressive because I showed the subscribers the other day. I think I've got it right here. Yes, look at this. This is the semiconductor shipment breakdown. And look how, look how terrible it is. It goes right into early 2019. And yet, look where the semis are. So there's some discrepancy. Either they're going to have to be pulling back to, because the semis, do you have the orders turn around as viciously as the price has from $80 in the SMH, the semiconductor ETF, to, the, to today's high of a 107.49? Uh, uh, something's wrong with that picture. So either the semis will come down because the orders have started to come in, or we're going to be looking at something happening that's really strange, and the semis will pull back because that was false hope. This is going to be an important week, I think. Yeah, around. those semis are a real commodity. There's no doubt about it. Absolutely, There's yeah. There's no doubt about it. Listen, folks, the way they get the opening call, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to newsletters, you go to the opening call, you just hit that subscribe button. Basil, you have a great night, safe night. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.